have to draw many, many long lines. Okay, um, when I do a script, I just pretty much scribble this stuff out and do some small illustrations. This, if it's really something I want to remember, and then do it out just in a full pencil rough draft. Sometimes I'll just indicate things really roughly because I know what I'm going to draw. And then this is the actual set of pages right here in progress. I just do two pages at a time just to speed things up, kind of production line it. And uh, do all the lettering first and then the penciling. And this is a, a non photo blue pencil so I don't have to erase. You just and, copy over. Yeah. And because it won't get picked up by the camera. And then I do a thick line contours, and then I go in with, with uh, a finer pen and do all the detailing, fill in the solids. Right here is Mr. Time Saving Xerox interspersing. Uh, this is a flashback, so instead of drawing the whole thing over again, I just make a Xerox and paste it in there. Could you maybe, why don't we, hmm, you want to do the whole thing again, because that just sounds like a little too this is how the script starts out. It's just a bunch of scribbling and a few little spot pictures. Just if I want to be sure and remember a visual of some kind, and then I, I lay it all out, you know, as a pencil and pencil the whole story, and then this is it in progress right here. And what I do is first I do the lettering and, and lay it all out, and then I go in and pencil it with a non-photo pencil which means uh, it won't get picked up by the Xerox and I don't have to erase it. And then I use a thicker pen for the contours and then I go in and detail it. And this right here is a Xerox just put in there so I don't have to redraw this particular thing. It's from what the, another issue? Yeah, it's a flashback, so it's valid to copy it. It's supposed to you know, be what it was before, so why draw it over? Welcome to the Klutz Factory. What I do here is I take the art that's been reduced somewhere in town and paste them together in these little production flats. The Klutz Factory. What I do is I just have the original art reduced somewhere in town and put them together in these little production flats after figuring out the sequence. And then they go in here and this machine requires a little bit of work to get it to, to produce dark black. So I have to get this thing right here primed by pumping it a hundred times. And this is the toner. I hope you do. Do that again. Could you put some more in? Wait a second. Okay. It's full. <laughs> totally black to draw up the toner, sort of saturate the thing. several different angles. Shooter? 
Yeah, so pause a second before you say anything, because we're all fucking bantering about here. This is the collation process. Oops, doing a good job here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, say it again, because you can't have that, yeah, 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 all that, that, that oh. bullshit kind of. Why you know. not? Because we only have, like, about, the whole thing's going to be five minutes long. We're rolling, right? We're rolling. This is the collation process. Uh, after printing all these pages, i got to put them in order, and somebody's got to do it. In fact, I was figuring out exactly how many of these have I collated, so I figured out how many books I've made, and I've collated over 14,000 pieces of paper. Um, I have to do all the stapling at school because you have to have a special long-reach stapler, and I've only done about 8,000 staples. So. You're rolling? We're rolling. This is how the scripts start out here, just scribbling out what I'm thinking of in a few little spot illustrations. And later on, I'll go ahead and just do a full, full drawn-out pencil version of it. And then here it is in progress right here. What I do is I draw it in a blue pencil first, and this won't be picked up by the Xerox machine. That way I don't have to spend time erasing it later. And then I draw all the thick contour lines, and then I go in and do all the detailing. Neither. See here that I don't have to follow the pencils too religiously since I drew them. That's why I would never want to have somebody else ink my stuff, or or because it would take me a lot longer to do the pencils if I had to draw it so somebody else could understand it. This way I just know what I'm going to do. I want to explain what you're doing. This shading film right here pretty much saves having to do a lot of cross-hatching and filling in the sort of sink something into the shadows. For a long time I tried to avoid using it, so I forced myself to do the shading manually, but now that I've kind of gotten more disciplined, I'm out to use it now and again. Like right here, this is just going to set all of this machinery into the into the shadows inside of this little space camper here.
want to explain what you're doing here. Okay. This border tape right here just gives a nice clean edge and a nice thick line to all the, the panels. A lot of people, in fact, I don't know anybody else that uses this. Most people just ink the the borders, but I think this stuff looks really slick. Actually, we'll probably need to get another 